Hi, I'm Jacob Hornberger, President of the Future of Freedom Foundation. I want to thank you for your interest in our work and your support of our work. We're very grateful. As you know, we have a unique way of advancing liberty, one that's based on a presentation of an uncompromising principled case for the free society. And we have total and absolute confidence in the power of ideas on liberty to shift people's thinking and ultimately shift the course of society. So I wanted to just kind of remind you of the things we do. Uh, people sometimes ask us, hey, what can I do to advance liberty? And you know, each person's sort of got to figure that out for himself and where he feels most comfortable in advancing liberty. But, but my stock answer is always share ideas on liberty. Th this is, this is, ideas have consequences. They can move people, they can move society. And that's why we publish uh, FFF Daily, a publication that we put out for about fifth, oh, at least 15 years now. And we strive to make FFF Daily the best commentary page on the internet, at least with respect to libertarianism. That every day we, we work hard to find the 10 best libertarian articles on the internet. And many of those, as you know, are from the mainstream press. Now, that doesn't mean that, that the mainstream press are libertarians by any means, but it means that they're publishing a particular perspective that is libertarian in nature. And that's why we, we filter out the bad ones and we present you the good ones so that every day you have essentially an editorial page, a commentary page that it consists of pure libertarian perspective. Now, if you like one of those articles, then by all means, you know, Forward it to one of your friends who happens to be interested in that particular subject. This is the way we change the course of society, by, by sharing sound ideas on liberty with others. Now, so we, we strive to make FFF Daily your, your, your commentary page that you turn to every day uh, to, to get that sense of what libertarianism is, is all about in, in comparison to what's going on in the world. Now, we also, as you know, publish a monthly journal called Future of Freedom. We've published it monthly for 28 years now. These are more timeless essays. These are the kind of essays that we strive to, to make it so that if somebody were to pick them up 50 years from now, that they would still be applicable because they deal with principles and, and the timeless nature of principles. And so, you know, one of the best things you can do to help us out, as well as advance liberty in society, to give gift subscription to your friends. Uh, you just give them a one-year gift subscription and then you know, let them go on their own. And see if they like it, they'll renew. If not, well, they, they, they drop it. But at least, you know, we're and that way we're planting seeds of liberty uh, within the minds of other people. We have uh, the Libertarian Angle, a show that I'm thoroughly enjoying, that, that uh, Richard and Evelyn and I now co-host. And Richard and I, we, we go back, oh gosh, in 30 years, we, we met in Dallas, Texas, where we, we immediately figured out that we were on the exact same wavelength when it comes to liberty, that both of us were influenced by the, the uncompromising case for liberty that people were making, and that's why we became libertarians. I think that if somebody had given me the case for you know public school reform or regulatory reform or income tax reduction or you know, slight changes in military spending. I, I don't think I ever would have be, become a libertarian. It was because I was reading these timeless type principled uh, essays uh, calling for a free society that I became a libertarian. And the same for Richard. So we, we really enjoy doing this show. We, we take some burning issues of the day and then we analyze it from a libertarian perspective. So if you like a particular show that we do, whether it's on education or economics or whatever, Forward it to your friends, that, friends that who might be interested in that particular subject, because you just never know of how ideas on liberty can impact people. Um, but one thing's for sure, you know, in order for a person to adopt a libertarian idea, he's got to hear it. If all he hears is, you know, the case for school vouchers, he is he's never going to consider the possibility of how about just separating school and state or separating the economy and the state or restoring a constitutional republic by dismantling the national security state. And that's what we do. We, 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 we present that, that principal case for what freedom is really all about. And then finally, there's my daily blog. I, I, I appreciate the, the comments I get from you all periodically that say, uh, hey, great article and so forth. 
Well, that's the, I appreciate that, but that's the type of thing that you can say, hey, let me let me share this with my friend John, who's who's expressed an interest in say gun control. Let me let, me, let him have him read this perspective, and it doesn't necessarily mean that somebody's going to automatically embrace the ideas. It's really a matter of just sharing these perspectives, planting seeds in people, giving them something to think about, and then they mull it over, they digest it, and, and hopefully change their perspective. And this is how we ultimately achieve the free society. It's, it's, a, it's a way that goes from person to person to person, changing public opinion in that way with, with the confidence that ideas on liberty can do that. So thank you very much for your interest in our work and your support of our work, and we look forward to sharing with you ideas on liberty during the coming year. Thank you.